Hey guys, if this is your first time to my channel, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Emily and today I am going to be taking you through my version of the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. So a quick disclaimer before we get started here. The point of these types of videos on my channel are to find things that are similar in my collection to an existing or an up-and-coming palette. Basically, I'm going to be shopping my stash every time I want a palette that is releasing or something that has been catching my attention. I'm going to go into my single shadow collection and try to find things that are similar in my collection. Now, most of these times I have not tried the palette that I'm trying to dupe, or at least color dupe if you will and I have no idea what the formula is like. If I happen to refer to these shadows as a dupe, it is not a formula dupe because most of the time I don't even know what the formula of the actual palette is. Now as far as color dupes, that's more so my speed. I am basically just going for things that are similar in my collection. So they might not be an exact dupe, they might just be kind of similar, and basically what I'm doing is trying to pick out shades from my collection that were the standout shades that I noticed in the palette itself. So if there were only three shadows that I really enjoyed in the palette that I'm looking at, then I'll just go into my collection and see if I have things that are similar in my single shadow collection. The point of these videos are to try to stop myself from buying and spending my money on the new releases because makeup gets pretty damn expensive and I want to be able to use everything in my collection and I'm always noticing that I seem to have a decent amount of shadows that seem very close to a lot of things that are usually released so I just figured that documenting this and showing it to you guys would help you as well shop your stash if you've been looking at a palette or if there's something up and coming that you want Go ahead and take a peek at your actual single shadow collection or your makeup collection in general. Check your palettes, check your single shadows, see if you have things that are similar in your collection. This way you can save your money and spend it on something that's really unique to your collection. No way am I telling you what to do or what to buy. I'm probably going to suggest 10 to 15 shadows in these types of videos that will end up costing a heck of a lot more than the actual palette itself. That is not the purpose of this video. The point of this video is to show you guys some possible color dupes, and if you've been eyeing one or two shades from the palette, then you have some options. Then you don't have to go out and spend $45 on a new palette. You could just go buy those two single shadows that are similar and be happy with that. And of course, these videos are inspired by Angelica Nyquist and Lauren May Beauty. They have videos just like this on their channel. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop on into it. The Huda Beauty Corals Obsessions palette is currently available on Huda's website as well as Sephora. And of course, I had to go ahead and pick up the palette. I picked it up from Sephora just a couple days ago and I'm currently awaiting its arrival. And even though I have a million coral eyeshadows in my collection, I had to add to it with this palette. I have never tried the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes, and I have heard that they are absolutely phenomenal. So I am very excited to give this palette a shot. And I can really never have too many coral eyeshadows. Let's face it, I have so many. But I love adding to my collection of coral eyeshadows because I use them almost every single day, and I hit pan on them pretty fast. I've hit pan on a couple of mine already, so for me personally, it makes sense to add to my collection. Maybe not, let's be honest here, but I really just wanted to try the palette, so don't judge me. This palette retails for $27, so I actually got it wrong in my Pay or Stay Away where I talked about this palette. I said it was $29, but it's actually even cheaper. It's $27, which I feel like is a really decent price for nine shades. With all of the disclaimers and information about the palette aside, I wanted to shop my stash this morning to find some shadows that are pretty similar in my collection. Now, when I first saw the photos of the Coral Obsessions palette, I knew that I had these shadows but I still bought it anyway because I am just a sucker for this type of color scheme. But I was able to pick out some shades that I feel are pretty similar. Now, just like I said in my disclaimer, these are not exact dupes. I don't know the formula of Huda's eyeshadows, so these are not exact dupes. But to me, these might be either color dupes or just very similar colors to the ones that I can see through pictures and through swatches on her website. And I think that the color scheme is just absolutely beautiful. This is right up my alley. This is everything I could ever dream of a palette looking like, 
And I just wanted to show you guys some of the shades that I have in my collection because if you just wanted a couple shades from the palette and you don't want to go out and spend the money, then you can just pick up a few of them. So I'm going to just go over these shades from left to right and just go row by row. And in the Huda palette, it looked like they had a shimmery rose gold shade. So I went ahead and picked out Sydney Grace's Lucky Peach. This one is a very similar toned rose gold. It might be just a little bit more peachy than the one in the palette. But... Like I said, these are not exact dupes. They are similar, but they are not exact. And this is what the shade looks like. As you can see, it's got that rose gold quality to it, but it's just a little bit more peachy toned than the shade in the palette. I still think it's pretty close enough to put in this palette. I noticed in the Huda Beauty palette that there is an almost berry toned hot pink, and I knew immediately when I saw this shade that it looked very similar to Max Passionate, which is the second shade right up here in the first row. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it out here. And this shade doesn't really have a whole lot of pigment when you're actually putting it on a swatch, but when you actually use it on the eyes, it does build up pretty well. It kind of gives you a light wash of hot pink. So that is essentially what it looks like. And now we are getting into the very first coral in the Coral Obsessions palette, who to put in a really bright toned, very punchy coral shade. So I wanted to include Davina's Sura because this is one of the most punchy coral shades that I have in my collection. It's one of the most pigmented coral shades that I have in my collection, and I am absolutely obsessed with this shade. I have this in my crease today, and I have it blended out with a couple other things here. I think I used some passion as well to blend everything together, but this shade is absolutely stunning. It's super smooth, super pigmented, and I'm really impressed by the Davina shades in general. She just really knows how to get her mattes right, and this is what we have so far for the first row of the Huda Beauty Corals Obsession palette. And I am doing my absolute best not to blind you with this Z palette. For some reason, this one has a mirror, but you can't bend it back all the way, and my mirror is broken, so I'm pretty sure that's bad luck, but I'm doing my best to keep it covered, but apologies in advance if I accidentally blind you. So moving on to the second row, I noticed that there was kind of like a warm, caramelly terracotta brown, and I immediately thought of a shade that I already have in my collection, which is Sydney Grace's Caramel Apple, or Caramel Apple, whatever you want to call it, tomato, tomato, whatever it may be. But this shade is absolutely stunning. It's a super, super warm toned, rich brown. It has a little bit of red terracotta in there as well. And I think it just fits with the whole theme really well. It's a really nice deepening shade for some of these warmer colors. And I appreciate her putting in a deeper warm shade that isn't just a basic brown or a black. This one definitely has a hint of red to it, so I think it really complements the rest of the coral shades. I noticed that the very middle shade in the Huda palette almost reminded me of the shade Shy from the Rose Gold palette that she came out with a couple years ago. It's almost like a cool toned mauve, which I think is a really cool contrast to the rest of these sort of warm colors. I think that the kind of coolish pinky toned mauve really works with these type of colors. I think the shade in the Coral Obsessions palette might be a little bit warmer toned than the Shy color from the Rose Gold palette, but it looked very similar to me, and I knew I had a shade in my collection that was already pretty similar to that, which is the shade Penelope by Davina, which is right in the center here. This shade is almost like a mauve baby pink. To me, this leans a little bit more cool tone. This shade is definitely a baby pink, but it definitely has a little bit of that mauve undertone to it. So I think it works nicely with the rest of the shades in the palette. I think this is a nice crease color. I think it would be a good lid shade. And I knew I had this one in my collection and it looked almost spot on to me, so I knew I had to add it in. The last shade in the very second row over here is ColourPop's Centerfold. This is a classic shade for me. I use this one almost every single day when I am just doing my go-to coral eye look. This shade almost has a neon quality to it. It's very, very loud, but it's so light that you can really use it as a transition shade. You can use it as a lid color. You can use it for a lot of things, and I think it works really well with a lot of different tones. And I think it works absolutely perfectly in this palette, and I think the one in the Huda palette works perfectly as well. It looks very, very similar to ColourPop Centerfold. And let's go ahead and swatch right below here. 
So there is ColourPop Centerfold at the end there. One of the most exciting shades in that palette for me and one of the ones that I noticed first was the nice pop of yellow that she went ahead and put in there. I think it's amazing that she put yellow in with these coral tones. I love yellow and coral and pink. I think that yellow and pink is such a cute summery kind of lemonade-y look. So I love that she put this in here and when I first saw that shade I immediately thought of ColourPop's Tiki. I noticed that the yellow that she put into the Huda palette seemed to be a deeper, almost mustardy toned yellow, but not quite as brown as a mustard is. It's still definitely a primary yellow, but it's a lot deeper in tone than a typical yellow you would see. And I really love this type of yellow. I think that it works really well with the rest of the shades. And like I said, it gives me lemonade vibes. So I am all here for her putting in a yellow. And ColourPop's Tiki over here is a deeper kind of warm based yellow but it's not quite a mustard. So to me, this replicates the one in the palette pretty darn well. This is what it looks like at the bottom here. Huda also put in another coral toned eyeshadow in the palette. And this one looked to be a little bit more muted than the coral tone that she put in previously, the one that was up at the top. So I wanted to put in ColourPop's Making Mousse, which is this shade on the bottom here. It's still definitely a coral tone and it's still pretty bright, but it's a little bit more muted than Davina Sura that I put in earlier. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely still a very bright tone, but it's just a little bit more toned down and maybe just a tinge darker, maybe a little bit more pink as well. That is what ColourPop's Making Moves looks like. And last but certainly not least, it looks like Huda put in a pinky metallic shade. So I went ahead and just picked out Sydney Grace's Golden Rose. This shade is a rosy duochrome that shifts to a gold shade. So it's not completely rose gold. To me, it's a little bit more pinky in tone than a rose gold, but it definitely still has that golden shift to it. It's just not nearly as strong as some rose golds that I've seen. And here we have the palette swatched out and I'll get into some more in-depth swatches a little bit later. And now I have eyeshadow all over my pants. My nose is super flaky and apparently I don't know how to use liquid lipstick as an eyeliner. It's just one of those days, but I'm gonna go ahead and get into some swatches. Now these are built up swatches, but they are on unprimed skin. I built each shadow up in three layers to show the true color. That is going to be wrapping up my little rendition of the Huda Beauty Corals Obsession palette here. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you've been looking at the Coral Obsessions palette but you're only into like one or two colors, you go ahead and pick out something from your collection that's similar or maybe one of these caught your eye and then you'll end up spending five to ten dollars versus spending the whole 27. Although I really do feel like if you like this type of color scheme and some of these shades really appealed to you that's more than just a couple, you might as well just get the palette because the 27 price point is really really good for that many shadows but I am really excited to test out this palette once I get it in the mail these are my favorite types of colors and I'm super excited to try the formula and I'm probably gonna do a review here on this channel now I'm not sure if that's total overkill because I did do this video but obviously I will give it a couple weeks to test out the palette and run it through the ringer of trials because I want to make sure that it's a damn good palette before I go recommending it to anyone I do hope that you consider subscribing I have all sorts of makeup goodness happening here on this channel so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below I hope you are having an absolutely amazing day wherever you are and thank you so much for watching I hope to see you next time Bye!